Oh, Stephanie, you're on the air. Hello. Good afternoon, Dr. Wallach. Um, I have, yes, I'm on um, peritoneal dialysis. I've been on it for a year and a half. Um, I'm 29. I weigh 113. Um, I was diagnosed with nephrotic syndrome when I was four. Um, and then I was diagnosed with FSCS at 17. And okay, I'm having that. issues with high potassium. And okay, just, I think just, a minute, just a minute. I missed that. You were diagnosed with what at age four? Um, nephrotic syndrome. Okay. I, I was leaking protein in my urine. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about when you were 14? When I was 17, then they did a biopsy, and they said I had focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. Okay. Yeah, glomerular mm-hmm. sclerosis is interesting. Yeah, that's uh, um, connective tissue, scar tissue, and the filtering units. Okay. That is a um, very interesting problem. Um, and how many times a week do you take you know, kidney dialysis, three days a week, six days a week? Um, well, it's every day. Um, it's ambulatory at night while I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you doing perineal dialysis at home, or are you going into the clinic and they're doing kidney dialysis, or are you doing perineal dialysis at home? I do it at home every night. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any other issues, any habit pressure, diabetes? Um, well, my blood pressure was high, but they took me off the medicines um, because it was starting to get too long. So now I'm only on metropolone, 25 milligrams. You see, you have high blood pressure, but you got it under control with medication. Um, well, I changed a little bit my diet, so it helped me, and I started exercising. Mm-hmm. So you have a history of high blood pressure, but you have it under control. Yes. Stephanie, 70, one more question, and we'll give you a protocol. Uh, are you urinating, or are you not urinating? Um, I urinate a little bit. Okay, we're talking about a tablespoon much, a day, um, or not much? Um, probably, yeah, like a, t- a tablespoon or two. Okay, very good. All right, yeah, when you have uh, the need for dialysis six days a week, that means usually you're not urinating, okay? And so that's why you have to use dialysis so frequently. And so, Charmaine, are you there? I'm here. Okay, what did you do for Stephanie, a very nice lady from Pennsylvania. Uh, she has some high blood pressure, which is under control. She's got kidney failure since she was like four years old. She started having kidney problems. She's getting dialysis six days a week, a very little urination. And so um, what would you do for her to support, um, uh, support kidney function and um, just give her a better life? Well, to support... Everything, kidney function and everything, I would give her one healthy brain and heart pack, one daily classic, and a niacin. You go from there. Okay. Um, yeah, you can start out with one bottle a month of the Ultimate Daily Classic. So you can take uh, one of the tablets uh, three times a day, one at breakfast, one at lunch, one at dinner time. We may want to move up on that after a month or two. I'm sure you go in and see the doctor on a regular basis when you see him. Or even after a month on the protocol, you should go and say, hey, I'm feeling pretty good. My urination has increased maybe from a tablespoon a day to a pint a day. Uh, Is there any possibility I could reduce my uh, number of dialysis and do it five days a week instead of six? You know, let the doctor make that determination. And so uh, one healthy brain and heart pack per month, I would go ahead and, again, get one and divide it and take a half a dose during the breakfast, half a dose during the dinner time. Again, I would go ahead and take uh, one bottle a month of the Ultimate Daily Classics, one tablet of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And one bottle lasts a month. That will support healthy blood pressure, support healthy blood flow um, into the kidneys. And so it's going to help get more dirty blood into the filtering units, right? And then what would you do to, to encourage stem cells to do their job and uh, help the kidney do its maximum jobs? Charmaine? I give immortalium, right? Exactly. You get an A+. plus Immortalium uh, is designed to stimulate stem cells into doing their thing, and it encourages your tissues, whether it's the kidney or your bones, your skin, wherever, okay, it's going to get your tissue to, to make more stem cells. And, of course, the job of the stem cells is to, to repair the daily loss of cells. I mean, 
we have need for maintenance. That's why we have genes and DNA and RNA telomeres, because everything goes away. Everybody knows your skin goes away every day, and your body replaces it as you lose it. The same thing is true even with the kidneys and the kidney filtering units. So we do need the immortalium. I'd go ahead and get two bottles of that. I'm going to take two of those tablets twice a day, okay, or one, four times a day, one at breakfast, one at lunch, one at dinner, one at dinner.